Hey guys, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Eric Piccioni. I'm a former college kicker and punter. I have uh, been in the game for about 10 years now, and I just wanted to run through some of the things that I did on a warm-up basis, whether it's stretching or just warm-up kicks, and then we'll run through some games and everything. So it'll be a fun day. So guys, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna do a couple hip opener exercises to really get your hips like open and mobile so you can really get some power behind your kicks. So first thing we're gonna do, is we're gonna do a sumo squat. You wanna make sure your heels are on the ground. You're gonna push your hips out with your elbows, your knees out with your elbows, and really hold that for about 10 seconds. Really try to make sure you're getting a good stretch in there. Okay, from there, we're gonna put one arm down, lock your knee in place with your elbow. You're then gonna put one arm out, push that knee out for another 10 seconds. Again, make sure that knee is on the ground there. Make sure it's locked in. And then from here, we're gonna do 10 pulses. Really make sure it's nice and open so you can get a lot of range of motion on these kids. Okay, now we're gonna switch sides. Lock this arm down, push out, hold, about 10 seconds. Okay, we're gonna go pulses, 10. from here, we're gonna go back to this side, lock this arm down, knee in place. We're gonna reach up and hold for 10 seconds. All right, from here, got sweat in my eyes. You're gonna rotate out and up for 10 as well. Two, three, You want to get as far back as you can so you're really opening up your body. And if you lost count like I did, I'm going to say I hit 10, I'm not totally sure. But same thing on the other side. You want to make sure you're looking back at your hand as well. Okay, 10 reps. Good. All right. 
now you're a yoga master, so. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do next is just a couple no step drills. I'm gonna swing on the line. I'm not really worried about how far it's going. I'm just trying to get it going that way, getting everything going uh, towards my target zone. Next what I'm going to do is some one step drills. This is really just working on my drive power. Instead of like hopping into it, I'm just going to step into my, my plant foot. Uh, that's just going to generate that last step, all that power that I really need. That's why they call it a warm up. So what we're gonna do next, we're gonna do a game of horse. We're just gonna kick random kicks from all over the field and uh, we're gonna see if you can do it as well. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do an opposite foot kick from the 20 yard line. So I'm a left footed kicker. You're gonna kick with your right foot. If you're a right footed kicker, you're gonna kick with your left foot. So during the beginning of the session, I started to notice that I was starting to hit a X ball, which is going to be that weird rotation instead of that clean end over end ball. So as I went throughout the kicking uh, today, I, I started to make sure that I was really utilizing my body so I wasn't getting around the football. And that's why you see these, these clips towards the end from 55 and, and 50 yards, which to be frank, the, the, the goalposts were turned around. So it's going to be about five yards more. So th this is actually a 55 yarder. But nonetheless, all of these kicks were towards the end where I started to really change up my technique a little bit to make sure I was hitting a cleaner ball. Because again, by me being too up and down, I was hitting the outside panel of the ball and was getting me to wrap around it and cause that X rotation. So all of these kicks, if you go back from the longer 55 and 50 yards, are me leaning away. And this one specifically, you see how I hop through it? That's me really trying to get downfield. All right, this is gonna be a spinning kick field goal from 45 yards. <laughs> I thought it was just gonna like Me too. Oh.